sagging, bouncing, or uneven floors, standing water or high humidity, nasty odors, or dangerous mold. Crawl space problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Monday, the 7th of February. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather looking awfully quiet for a while. We've got some rain over the far southern and southeastern counties of the state today, but most communities will be dry at least for the next seven days. Here we go. This is the upper air look across the country this afternoon. We got troughing to the west, producing some clouds around the state. There's the visible satellite view. Now, the sky is sunny for northwest Alabama, places like Muscle Shoals, Athens, Russellville, Hamilton, nothing but sunshine there. Partially sunny around Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, then cloudy over the southeastern part of the state where some rain is falling, uh, basically south of a line from Gulf Shores to Eufaula. And that rain will be ending after midnight tonight. And again, most of Alabama will be dry for quite a while. Temperatures are below average. We should be in the upper 50s this time of the year. We've got 48 for Coleman, Birmingham at 52. Uh, we're expecting lows tomorrow morning, around 30 in most spots. There's the watch warning map. Pretty quiet this afternoon. Winter weather advisories in effect for parts of the northeast United States. And really, that's about it. Not a single thunderstorm expected across the country this afternoon and tonight. Same thing tomorrow. And the same thing Wednesday. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Precipitation, the western two-thirds of the country is rather dry, and we are rather dry. Uh, the rain you see there for uh, Mobile, Baldwin counties, the southeastern counties of the state, that's basically what's going on now. And again, uh, no sign of any, any big rain, ice, snow event here anytime soon. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 3. Trough axis east of the state, and the sky should be sunny tomorrow. We're expecting highs in the middle 50s, a little below average. This is Wednesday, a sunny day, the high close to 60. It'll feel pretty good. Thursday, highs up in the low to mid 60s, very pleasant. And Friday, we're dry. Mid 60s are likely a delightful winter day. This is Saturday as the weekend begins. We'll call it partly sunny, the high at or just over 60. And there's a cold front just north of the state, but there's just not much moisture. This is Saturday night at midnight, and the GFS suggesting the cold front comes through in dry fashion. And there might be a sprinkle, a flurry somewhere after midnight, Saturday night, early Sunday morning, but nothing meaningful. And then Sunday will be dry and colder. The sky mostly sunny, a pretty good north breeze. Highs upper 40s to near 50. And a week from today, Monday the 14th, Valentine's Day. A northwest flow aloft and a sunny sky with a high in the 50s. We'll go out 10 days, Thursday of next week, the 17th, upper low that's not too far from San Diego, troughing over eastern Canada, and a cold front approaching from the north, but we still look to be dry at that point. Here's the rain for Birmingham. This is off the European Ensemble. The mean, about two inches between now and the 22nd of February, but again, we're dry here for the next 10 days based on this. Snow lovers will not like this. This is the snow output, and again, uh, you got... What, about five members of the 51 members showing a few snow flurries here late Saturday night, Sunday morning. Nothing meaningful. And again, that's just nothing but noise here for the next 15 days. No sign of any snow or ice problems. Temperatures, look at those 60s coming in here later this week. Highs in the mid-60s on Friday and Saturday, then dropping to near 50 on Sunday. But next week, we go right back in the 60s by the middle part of next week. And hot off the presses, got the brand new CPC outlook. This is for the 15th through the 21st of February. Temperatures here would be very close to average if the forecast verifies. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Cracks and Brick. Cracks and block, call Alabama Professional Services. Leaning or bowing basement walls, call APS. Sticking windows or doors, call APS. Settling or sinking foundation, that's right, call APS. It's a fact, foundation problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. Call Alabama Professional Services today.